Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's uh, Rick, or E01 from Black Emerald. Uh, today we're going to be talking about something which got sent to me in the post. One of these. It's a grenade trigger pouch uh, from ACS, Advanced Combat Solutions. Uh, they do a variety of uh, different types of grenade pouches with different types of grenades. Uh, M27s, M67, um, they do different versions of flashbang as well, depending on the style that you have. Um, so these are actually um, being issued out to a few units around the world. Uh, UK, uh, France, US, um, Australia as well. There are a number of other ones as well, uh, but the life of me, I can't remember. And they're being used in Israel. Uh, these are actually developed by an Israeli company as well. Um, well, Israeli company, ACS, Advanced Combat Solutions, but that's generally where it came from. So, without further ado, let's take a look at some of these. This is it. Take a good look at that bad boy. Okay. Alright, so how this works. Inside here sits the grenade. So it's a lot better than your regular pouches because this is like a very hard composite material. Uh, protects the grenade from uh, if you're going to be doing any rough and tumble, rolling around on the floor, rolling around with the boys. Um, and what happens is, is these simply thread through your molly, mol, on your vest or bat, belt, whichever one you, whichever one you choose to use. Um, this one is an angled one. Um, they do say it is for right-handed people, but I found that you can just put it on left-hand side and still be um, comfortable using it. So anyway, the name of the game with this is safety. Um, this has a number of safety features on it which enables the user um, to not have to worry about a grenade prematurely going off um, just simply because he's crawling on the ground or he bumps it. Okay, So very hard material, grenade sits in the centre. On the side, this is the first port. We've got a little safety cap right by here. You cannot open the pouch when this thing is up. Flick it down. Nice hard snap open, snap back down, again, open. So if you're going to bump into anything, you can't do it without clicking both of these together. So you click it together. Uh, it's all been moulded specifically for the grenade. Uh, that's the only the only downside of this is that um, when you've got a grenade pouch, you can put, as long as the grenade fits in there, people will tend to just stuff whatever grenade they can into it. This will only take the prescribed grenade for it. So, like that, okay? Uh, little hole in the bottom there to stop any accumulation of like materials or moisture, water I should say, you know, or any anything like that, it just drips at the bottom so it doesn't pool inside this nice little seating area right by here. This bit here, which is that bit there, that's four. This little bit on your grenade, a bit that pings off. Uh, if the grenade looks a little bit strange to some people, it's just simply because this is a replica one from TMC. Uh, so the spoon is just sort of, you know, rammed in there as well. The poly pull cord's in there. Um, yeah, this one doesn't fit. This one is stated as an M67. However, it doesn't fit in the M67 grenade pouch. Funny that, isn't it? On the back of it, these very very robust very difficult you've got to push them down they almost feel like they don't want to go down but you've got to push them down pull them apart Oop. If we can try and get that to open okay so push them down pull it apart and then lift same for the other one oh. again very very tough plastic this is okay uh, this is not going to break anytime soon. If you break this, um, you, you're doing something catastrophically wrong because there's a lot of give in these, a lot of strength. Fill, uh, feed them through your loops on your vest or your belt and it will generally sit at the angle. So the idea is when it's on your side, you just simply click it, it's open, pull it out. There are 
there is a flashbang version of this one which um, has a little piece of string or thread which coils around it so that once you put the flashbang in there and you click this open and pull it will instantly pull the pin out of the flashbang so all you have to do is throw and let go so the idea of that was that you could because they're not as dangerous as a fragmentation grenade or m67s anything like that the idea is you just simply pull it throw uh, whereas these ones you do still have to take them out and still use both hands okay not a bad thing it just simply means that this thing is less likely to go off and it's going to be a lot more safer okay snap back down now quality of this fantastic absolutely fantastic it's got a, a rough like poly uh, plastic -y. i i don't want i don't want to use the word plastic because it's like a composite but it's extremely strong but it has that sort of rough dusted effect because you just know this thing has been treated to hell and back this thing is well there is literally no giving it whatsoever so if you're looking for good quality or you're thinking of using this in the field or whatever and you've got a little spare few quid rolling around um, highly recommend picking this one up uh, they retail for about 60 i think it's about 60 dollars on acs uh, website but you can just order from them and just get them delivered uh, pretty quickly as well um, pretty good bargain nice little bit of sponge in there so you've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, cushioning for your grenade um okay so everything about this love it absolutely love it fantastic but unfortunately they've been ripped off so this is a tmc one straight away i can squish this little thing here this one here All right, hang on. <laughs> yeah, you can not squish anything on that one. So this one, everything, I mean everything, has a bend on it. This is not something that you want to be using out in the field. I mean, put, if you're going to use it for airsoft, uh, maybe, but if you are actually working in something involving real grenades, I mean, for example, I just, you know, tend to dabble in the airsoft part of it. <laughs> um, but still, um, I'm a bit of I, I'm a geardo. Uh, I love I love the fact that someone you know created this thing, and it, it is a shame that someone ripped it off. But what can you do? This that's how things happen these days. This thing, these on the back, how easy do they come out? Very easy. There we go. Very very easy. Uh, nothing compared to the other ones. The other ones are really hard. But the idea is that once it's there, you want it to stay there until you take it off. These things, you know, we're talking a good bump, or maybe not even a good bump, just a little bit of movement. If something gets in between there, they're coming straight off. Um, the springs in it, the springs are not very good. Um, you do have a safety cap, uh, for what it's worth. That is on there. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. Uh, the other one does have a larger one. Uh, which means that it's more likely to stay secure this is very very small um don't like the fact that they've kept the same color but again this is down to uh the way they manufacture it these are mass produced uh, very cheaply so there's your safety mechanism you click it okay let's try that again all right so a very specific timing um Okay, so that, that nearly right there, right? That's okay, so I pressed it once, and then I had to press it down quite diff hard on the other side to try and get them to open. Uh, not good, it's almost like it's a safety mechanism because it doesn't work as well as the other one. Um, again, no hole in the bottom either, so whatever is going in there um, is staying in there until you empty it out. For clarity, let's take a look. So, El Chipo. One more time, just for that nice little clack. There you go. So you can see, springs are a lot stronger. But anyway, let me show you how it works, because this grenade is the um, TMC one, so this one will actually fit with this. So, right by here, is where this fits. 
right at the back. Goes in there. Close it, uh, angle it a bit, close it down, and there it is. So that is essentially how it works. You click it on your on your vest, okay? So you, you've got it, you then click it, which is gonna be difficult considering this thing doesn't like to open. <sighs> Do not use this <laughs> if you've got a real one. Safety is not. Uh, paramount with this as, as opposed to this one. So again, uh, I'm gonna put this one back in, okay? That was as if, uh, there is some padding in it. Uh, it's it's not really padding, it's just like a bit of plastic, I think, that's just is supposed to double as padding. So anyway, we click that in. I'm gonna put my hand in front of it this time. We click it open. There it is, it rolls, it literally rolls straight out, okay? But the idea is it would be like this. You then take it straight out. Catch on your edge, on, and that's it. So, ACS, grenade pouch, lots of different ones as you can see on the back. So we've got all the way up, as I did say. Uh, so just find the one that's right for you. Um, highly, highly recommended. Fantastic product. Um, if safety is paramount and you're worried about grenades going off. Get one of these um there is there is nothing else on the market that is as in in my opinion as innovative as this um i think people just thought it's a grenade pouch what's the worst that can happen these guys thought well there's a way we can make that safer also um the side benefit of it is that um it takes on average about eight seconds some people are going to argue and be really picky about this but it takes about eight seconds to get a grenade out of a regular pouch pull the pin and throw just simply because you're fumbling around with it you've got a latch on it or a, um, a buckle you click it puck opens you have to pull it open take it out then you can do it this whoop got my uh, safety thing on there which is good done that's it so yeah uh, if there was star ratings for it, it'd be five out of five. TMC one, don't use. Um, if you are, um, you, you're talking, I mean, six, $61, you get a real one. Or $20, you get this one, $25. So um, you might as well save your pennies up and just get a real one. Support the guys who make it. This thing is just made of very, very cheap plastic. If I bump into this, this is gonna crack or split. Um, there's a lot of mold lines on it as well. It's just not very good quality. Um, but if you're cosplaying or you just want it for airsoft, fair enough. Um, you'll probably will be able to get one of those uh, um, P grenades in there, so go for it. But otherwise, yeah, fantastic product, ACS. Go for it, check their website out, Advanced Combat Solutions, and like and subscribe. If you felt the video could have been better, um, then drop us a, um, Drop us a comment in the box below and we'll get back to you. And we always like to hear what you guys think, but like and subscribe. If you want to share the video around, um, then feel free to do that. I'm not going to stop you. Uh, but thanks very much. Uh, we're going to be airsoft in soon. We're hopefully going to have some good pictures up on our Instagram page as well. Um, check it out. We've got about four and a half thousand subscribers on there. Uh, subscribers, followers. Um, we're, the way it's going, we're hoping to hit about 10,000 by Christmas and then hopefully have a lot more cool content coming up as uh, things come along. So thank you very much. You take care and have yourself a pleasant evening.